What's going on, beautiful people? Hope y'all doing lovely today. Um, man, hope y'all had an amazing week and everything has been great for you guys. Just wanted to jump in, um, have a quick conversation with you guys um, about the five signs of an incompatible partner. Now, the reason why this topic is so valuable is because a lot of people are wasting time in relationships that they never should have been in. One more time. <laughs> A lot of people are, relate, are wasting time in relationships that they should have never been in. But it's a result of them running past red flags in the form of not pinpointing and recognizing uh, the incompatibilities between themselves and their partner. So I want to have this conversation because a lot of you guys who watch this channel are in a place to where, hey, I've been dating. I desire relationships. They haven't been successful. They haven't been going good. And I want to do this thing right and be in that relationship that I dream about. And so I want to prepare you guys for that relationship. And a piece of you being prepared for it is recognizing incompatibilities between you and the other individual. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we talk about that, though, I want to remind you guys also that uh, prepare for you. Right, my 12 week training program will like, get you ready, relationship ready for the marriage of your dream. Uh, we start in about two, two and a half weeks. And so we only have 20 spots. And I would advise that if it's something that you've been thinking about or interested in, click the link in the description box below and just learn more about it. But if it's something that you are in a place to where, hey, and I've said this before, uh, 2022 is the year of my boo. If that's you, if you're at a place to where you're like, hey, I'm tired of trying to do this thing on my own and trying to figure out this thing on my own. Let me serve you, right? Join the program. It's only 20 spots. It's a small, intimate group of individuals. Um, and we working, right? We being transparent. We being honest. We looking at ourselves in the mirror. We having the tough conversations. We getting the tools. We getting the tips needed to thrive in this dating scene, man. So if you're interested or even been thinking about it, click the link in the description box below. Sign up, join the waiting list. And by joining the waiting list, what you're doing is you setting yourself up when I actually open it up for people to start joining. Um, you get access about a week before the general public gains access. And so what that means is by being on the waiting list, you have access to a spot, one of the 20 spots before everybody else does. So if that's something you're interested in, Join that waiting list so that you get that access and get you a spot before everybody else get an opportunity, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. So once again, what we're talking about today is the five signs uh, of an incompatible partner. So incompatibility is a matter of we ain't in alignment, right? And if you watching this and you're a believer, you know the value of alignment and how when things are out of alignment, uh, they don't work correctly, they don't work properly, uh, and you really set yourself up to experience uh, more pain, more issues, more challenges than necessary, right? So when we look at uh, five signs of accountability, I mean, an incompatible partner, um, the first sign is this, you can't be your authentic self in the relationship. So in a relationship, it is mandatory that both parties have space to actually be their authentic selves. It is mandatory that both of these individuals are able to walk how they walk, talk how they talk, be how they be, and allow themselves to just be their authentic selves. Why? Because if you're not allowed or have permission to be your authentic self in a relationship, then you're going to go through the relationship as a representative or a counterfeit. And you can only be fake for so long. And what's going to happen is you're going to reach that moment where it's like, hey, I'm tired of doing this. Be your authentic self. Expose who you really are. Be who you truly are. And then another person going to be like, I don't even want to be with you. Right. But then along with that, you're going to grow a dislike towards yourself as a result of not being your authentic self because you're hiding who you are and you're doing things that don't really align with who you are. Right. So the first thing is we want to make sure that uh, in a relationship that you have the space and the comfortability and the confidence to be your authentic self. And if you're in a relationship where you can't be your authentic self, hey, you want you may want to step back and, and, and rethink that commitment. All right. Uh, sign number two that you are in a relationship with an incompatible partner or even building a relationship with an incompatible partner um, is that your vision for the future does not align. One of the primary topics that you have to have when you're dating and building with somebody is what is your vision for the future? And the reason why is because if my vision for the future and your vision of the future does not look alike or let me say like, or, or another thing is if if your vision of the future does not support and advocate my primary love language and vice versa, then we might want to rethink this relationship. Because if we can't serve each other and love each other the way that we receive love and recognize and pinpoint love, 
that's going to make this relationship hard, negative, um, and probably set us up to, 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 to not uh, excel in this relationship or have this relationship last as long as we desire to. So if the visions are not in alignment, you guys are incompatible and you want to make decisions proactively to avoid being in a committed relationship with somebody who the vision is incompatible, right? Sign number three is that they don't meet your non-negotiables, right? Which means that you need to have non-negotiables because we don't know if they don't meet your non-negotiables unless you have non-negotiables. So you want to be intentional about making sure that you have non-negotiables. All of my clients and everybody, I tell you to have five non-negotiables, five qualities that it's like, hey, in order for me to move forward in a relationship with an individual, they have to have these qualities. Get your five non-negotiables, and then as you build a relationship with somebody, you have the conversations and ask the questions necessary to let you know whether or not this individual aligns with your non-negotiables. And if they don't, you guys are incompatible. Why? Because non-negotiables are minimum standards. And so if an individual can't meet your 70% of your minimum standards, how can you expect for them to be the husband or wife that you actually want to spend the rest of your life with, right? Quality number four is you know that you're incompatible with your partner if you have to force yourself to stay. If you're in a relationship where you have to every day talk yourself into being in a relationship with this individual, that means you're in the wrong relationship. If you got to persuade yourself to stay, if you got to persuade yourself to be there, and you have to force yourself to continually answer text messages, answer calls, have conversations, you are in the wrong relationship. The right relationship is natural. The right relationship just flows. There is no force. Matter of fact, anything in God if, it, if it's from God and if it's directed by God, it doesn't have to be forced from a relational perspective. Yes, the qualities and characteristics of you, you may have to force yourself to change, but you don't have to force yourself to be in something that God is saying, hey, I ordained this for you, um, and this is this is what I desire for you, right? Um, so yeah, if you have to force yourself to stay in a relationship with somebody, y'all incompatible. Don't do that to yourself. And last thing is this, and this is, God's going to throw a little humor in there. The last sign that you are incompatible with your partner um, is if sexual abstinence is easy, right? When we look at us as men and women of God, um, sexual abstinence is mandatory and it's necessary in a relationship. We have to respect God and respect ourselves and respect the relationship in the form of not being physically intimate before we make that covenant and make that commitment. But if you're in a relationship with somebody and you have no problem being sexually abstinent, <laughs> It is easy for you to not Netflix and chill. It is easy for you to not have no slip ups. If that is easy for you, you might be incompatible with that partner. Don't get it twisted. I know some of y'all have heard or been persuaded that physical attraction ain't valuable in relationships. Yeah, it is. I refuse to wake up with somebody that's an ugly duckling, right? I ain't about to do that, right? And so you have to be intentional about being aware of that because that goes back to quality number four, forcing yourself to stay. If you're not physically attracted to the person that you're with, then you're forcing yourself to stay. And just because somebody is a great person and a phenomenal individual and treats you amazing, if you don't like them physically, then you're going to have to force yourself to interact with this individual and engage with this person. And so you want to be intentional about making sure that, hey, the person that I'm growing and building with, I'm actually attracted to. Because if you're in a relationship, once again, if sexual abstinence is easy, hey, I don't know. You might want to rethink it, all right? So I hope that, 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 that that's the five points, y'all. Listen, don't allow yourself to be in a relationship with an incompatible partner. You deserve better. They deserve better. Position yourself to connect with the high-quality man, high-quality woman that you desire to be in a relationship with. And don't allow yourself to force yourself or to stay in something that doesn't align with your vision for the future and God's best for you, all right? So, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you don't already. Follow me on all social media platforms. I'm at the character Brown. Once again, prepare for you. Join that waiting list uh, so I can work with you and guide you to be in relationship ready uh, for the marriage of your dreams. I love y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.